Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey and Queen here. And the phrase of the day is, Ugh, smells like rotten Mexican food in here. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, to celebrate my, well, the end, the passing of my colonoscopy. <laughs> and my, like, obsession with wanting to have Tijuana Flats tacos. I indeed went to Tijuana Flats and got lots of tacos and other stuff. But it's kind of far away from here. I mean, it's not ridiculously far, but it's far enough that it it reeks, and the and the smell was retained overnight. That's the the problem when you have to get takeout all the time is that it always ends up smelling like whatever you ate the night before, which is kind of nasty. Uh, my thoughts are at least it wasn't Five Guys, but okay. So it's Tuesday morning, and it's almost like technically the first day of our vacation because everything else was like pre-colonoscopy. So, and that's the last time I'm going to say that word. Colonoscopy. Yeah, for another seven to ten years. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what we're doing today, but we gloriously slept in, and now we're going to go have breakfast. Probably going to go to First Watch. Bacon will be involved. Bacon is always involved. <clears throat> it wasn't on Friday! <laughs> I had to watch you eat bacon. All right. Smell it. Okay, so we're gonna go eat breakfast and then who knows what we're gonna do. It's like gross humid. It's only 79 degrees, but it's like gross humid. If the temperature goes up like it's supposed to, it's just gonna be a schwitzy day. So don't know what we're in store for, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, bacon. Hey everyone, this is Editing Monkey. And I'm going to tell you right now that even though on the screen, it looked like all that footage of me walking around was steady and decent and perfect. Yeah, I kind of think it sucked. So I am not going to change it. I'm going to let you watch this video so that you can see what it looks like when it's on, you know, 24 frames a second, 150th, and no stabilization whatsoever when I'm out walking around. I think for me, it's completely unusable. I will either have to crank the shutter to 1 200th and use Catalyst Browse for everything, or I gotta dig out the old Crane M2 and see how that does. So tomorrow, when I'm filming, I'm gonna be using the Crane M2 and see how this all works. And also, this is the first time I've hooked up the DJI mic because, well, just because. That's all I wanted to tell you. Now you can watch this crappy footage. Sorry in advance. Okay, so first failure before I even got out of the freaking Forerunner. External power failure. All right, so it peeled off. The glue is adhered to the back of the of the battery, external battery itself. Where it peeled off was the back of this plate. So yeah, that sucks. Cause now I got to come up with a different design. I was really excited that this was gonna work. Incredibly disappointed that it doesn't because now there goes the power. So all right, uh, gonna have to come up with something else. But for now, let's go. So here's another funny thing, because I brought this with me this platypod, I was looking all over for this carabiner. And I'm like, what the shit did I do with that stupid thing? I looked through the freaking magical drawers, I, I, everywhere, couldn't find it. And then I just reached into my little backpack here, or my, my little man purse, and I saw red. And I was like, oh, there's the strap. And I meant to bring that too, and I couldn't find it. And I was like, there's another carabiner. So, yay, now I can freaking put this thing on here. And I don't have to carry it. Oddly enough, this doesn't look like it's that choppy. Almost to the point where I feel like I have stabilization on, but I know that I don't. So I, again, I have this on 150th. It's at f6.3 and it's hovering around ISO 2000, 2500, give or take. But since this is such a wide angle lens, I think that it, it actually will probably look pretty decent which is why it's not too choppy. Also, with the added weight of now having the cage with the grip on it, that will make it a little less jittery. Oof, I'm already drenched. It's so freaking humid out.
Okay, I can definitely see a pretty good use for that platypod. I, I actually, I mean, that's why I bought it, to be able to hang on trees like that, to get just a different bit of an angle, and also to put down low and just not have it be on a normal tripod. So I'm interested to see what you guys think of this footage. I mean, now that I'm actually out in the world, I mean, I know what it's going to look like on the Forerunner. It's going to look like I'm in the Forerunner. Not much is going to change there, especially now that I have the perfect setup. But out here, with the conditions changing all the time, I don't know, I think this looks pretty good. And again, I'm looking at it on this dinky ass little screen, and to me, it doesn't look like it's that jittery or messed up. Right now, I have it mounted at the top of this Yulonzi Komen Zero carbon fiber tripod. So, you know, it's very heavy. I don't have all those micro jitters because when I first got this thing and I didn't have anything attached to it, it's so freaking light and tiny that I, it was like sickening. Just as a test, since I'm using the ECM B10 mic, I don't know how much it's going to pick up, how far away I'm going to be before it just, you can't hear anything except for the birds and shit. But I really don't see speaking to the camera any further away than this. And this is my normal tone of voice, although sometimes I tend to talk louder, much to my wife's annoyance. But, you know, this is normal. I can't see the audio meters from here. It's too far away. Um, I'm probably a little over 10 feet, maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty, pretty bad about judging that. But I'm further away than I ever would be. And then as I walk towards it, is it getting better? Is it getting worse? I'm right in front of it. What do you think? I like the platypod. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this to carry. Clearly, it's very versatile. I can set it down on the ground. I had it sitting on tree stumps. I had it sitting on that wooden bridge. And I used the, whatever this strap, that, that I got in the kit to strap it to a tree, uh, you know, like up above me so that I could get a different point of view. You know, it's not, it's not always gonna be the same thing. Now, am I gonna be that adventurous and do that all the time? Probably not, I'm pretty lazy, so I don't see that happening all the time, but it's nice to know that I have the ability to do that with this. This is the first time really that I've gone out and, and you know, how I, again, I always test all of my gear in Great Neck Park because I think it offers the greatest range of situations that I'll run into, you know, with the lighting and the sound and all that kind of stuff. Now today, it, it's completely different because there's no air movement, almost no sound, and, you know, it, it's been overcast. All right, of course, as I say that, the sun comes out, but you know what I mean? So let me know what you think, because I, uh, you know, I, I actually think that this camera setup that I've got is, is just, awesome. It's so perfect that I totally dig it. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. But for now, I need to be hosed off. So <laughs> let's get back to the Forerunner. So that's the day's filming because I don't really see myself going too many other places that I need to film. You get the gist of what I was trying to show you today. I think that's enough. You've heard about how hot and sweaty I am. Schwitzy. So that's pretty much going to be it. I want to know what you think of all this stuff. What do you think of my placement with the platypod? How does it look, this whole setup with, you know, the whole ZV-E10, the 10 to 22, no stabilization. I'm hand holding and I'm walking like I normally would. I'm not doing any kind of crazy duck walk because I never do. Although this is getting heavy, I will admit to that. So I don't know. I want to know what you think of all of this. Let me know what you think of the footage. Let me know what you think of the audio. Let me know what you think about anything and we'll be good to go. I'm enjoying my vacation. Today was a great day and will continue to be. And that's all I've got for you. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.